First, press any button to take the remote control out of sleep mode. To use the heater, arm the heater by pointing the remote at the fire and pressing the on button. You can then turn the heater on using the high and low button beneath. The fire will turn on to one kilowatt and then press it again to turn it to two kilowatts. To turn the heat off, now press the off button. To change the colour of your flame effect, you need to use the light bulb button. First press any button on the handset to wake it up and take it out of sleep mode. Now press the light bulb button to choose the preset that you want. It currently displays PS1, preset 1, and this is what is currently shown on the fire. Use the plus or minus button to change it to the next preset, and then point the remote at the fire and press the tick button. Repeat the process to change the flame effect to one of the other preset colours. To control the volume of the sound effect, use the speaker button. First press any button to take the handset out of sleep mode. Then press the volume button again to select the volume required. The display is currently showing 00, zero so the sound effect is off. Use the plus and minus buttons to select your desired volume level. Point the remote handset at the fire and press the tick button. Then repeat the process to turn the volume higher or lower. To turn the volume off, you simply select zero volume. To turn your fire off, use the turquoise power button, the top left corner of the handset. First, you need to press any button to take the handset out of sleep mode. Now point the remote at the fire and press the turquoise button. You'll notice that the fire slowly fades out. To turn the fire back on, simply repeat the process.